why is now the time to consider or reconsider audit firm term limits and what factors might make that conversation produce different outcomes this time? Uh, the, uh, the, um, the persistence of the, of the concern over the terms, the extended terms, which some audit firms have, and the perception which uh, many people have that those terms are, are assets that the firm has to um, acquire and protect at the expense of skepticism is, is a very real perception. Uh, in Europe, uh, a number of authorities in, in, around the world, Australia, in Europe, in the UK, um, are questioning what to do about auditor skepticism, and they are questioning whether the extended terms that the firms seek to obtain and hold on to are inconsistent with the, uh, the proper objectivity and skepticism of the audit. The uh, cross-marketing of advisory and other services is part of that discussion. And while uh, we have largely limited the cross-marketing of advisory and, and other services, it's not precluded. In, in, other, in many sections of the, of the world, that question is being raised as to whether we should, in fact, uh, whether regulators should go a step farther and um, preclude uh, and, and those services so that you have audit-only firms. Uh, these are not competing uh, proposals. Uh, they are not mutually exclusive. But on the other hand, um, it, it may be that, that uh, one or more of them, in whole or in part, can be the right approach to skepticism now. And so that's why you want to have a debate and a focus on terms.